disheveled mess. So sorry. You look gorgeous. I look a disheveled mess. So, I don't know how this video is going to turn out. This is not the style of video I normally do by any, any definition of my videos. Uh, as you guys know, we have... Well, I'm going to announce it here, too. The other one. Are you? Yeah. Why not? By the time this goes out... That's true. That's true. <clears throat> so, as uh, you guys... Uh, hold on. Uh, yeah. Cliffhanger. Pause. Get to that in a minute. Um, so, <laughs> squirrel. <sighs> <laughs> Refocus, Michelle. Come on. You can do this. As you guys know, Michael and Jolinda are pregnant, and... Baby, grandbaby number five is due in June. Well, his shower Bye, is, Colton. his shower is due. My squirrels are crazy enough without you interrupting me. <laughs> his shower is May 15th. This is April 1st. No, this is not an April Fool's. No, oh, there, that's good. This is not yeah. an April Fool's. Yeah. Although I seriously, seriously thought about putting out a, uh, like a little video of some sort of April Fool's. I just couldn't figure out how to pull it off. Anyway, again, squirrel. <clears throat> I am helping helping my mom throw this shower, which basically means my OCD, aka CDO, and my control freakness, and my party preppy brain went into overdrive one night. Once I found out the theme, it took me forever to get, because I wanted to base it on their nursery theme, so that most of the decor stuff that they that we used the shower she could use in the nursery and have it do like a double duty and not do all of this work and spend all of this money for a two hour shower didn't mean for that to rhyme but you know what I mean and then just never use any of it again because we're not buying like it's not all super cheap stuff I'm not trying to do it in a throwaway zone I'm trying to do a really nice shower for her just like we did for Shanae when Shanae had Seth which is before my YouTube days, but you guys get the point, right? I want it to be nice. And I want it to be uh, meaningful and purposeful. Purposeful. Did that come out right? Purposeful? Is that right? You're saying he couldn't talk. He couldn't. He's contagious. A, nom a commentator. Oh, my God. <laughs> a commentator on a... F uh, what was this called? It was Bare Knuckle Boxing. Bare Knuckle Boxing that we just watched. The guy couldn't speak. He was stumbling over words worse than I am right now. See what I mean? This is the, this is what aphasia is. <laughs> I get you, Bruce. I feel your pain, baby. And I am so sorry that it's affected your life so badly. So anyway, talking about Bruce Willis, y'all look it up if you haven't heard yet. So, this video, long story not short, is uh, me prepping some of the decor pieces. Some of them I won't be able to finish all the way today. I can get a good start. Um, some of them, well, I'm working on two specifically, so let's just go with that. Working on two, uh, you guys all know the blocks. You do block decors, right? Decors? <laughs> Decor, good night. You're gorgeous. I am sorry, you guys, and I have caffeine in me. That's what's really crazy is this is, I can't wear my contacts because I got soap in my eye this morning. And when I put my contact in, it like reactivated the soap or something. I don't know. But my eye was like, Hades, no woman, that hurts. So, yeah. No contacts also means I don't do makeup. Because me trying to put makeup on without my contacts in, not going to happen. So, back to the... I'm not even getting into the video part of this yet. Like the cool parts that you guys are here to see. And I still haven't told you the second announcement. Okay. So anyway, I'm doing the, you know, I'm using Dollar Tree blocks thingies and making the little stacks that says baby on it. There is a fourth block laying here. I'm just not picking it up because I know I'll drop it as soon as I do. So there's that. I'm also making a sign. It'll be uh, three pieces. Unfortunately, I only have two of these. And they had... Um, legs on them to stand on a table, but I'm going to put them on a standing sign. And it's going to say, and here's the third piece, but I'm just going to have the third piece be like, I don't know if I'm going to put it in the middle or at the top. i got to lay them out, but I'm going to paint them first. But it's, it's either going to say his name on it, 
or it's going to have um, the word baby on it. I don't know which yet. Probably the word baby, but you see I pulled it off of an Easter truck decor piece. <clears throat> and it's going on a post that we can stick somewhere. I'm not quite sure where yet. Uh, and we are throwing this shower at my parents' house. A couple of reasons. Um, number one, it's free. <laughs> Can't beat the price. Number two, we have the space for it. We can do it out in the garage and on the front driveway there. Number three, and for me, this was a big, big part of it, and for Jolinda and Michael, especially Michael, uh, my dad can will be able to be there. If we have it off property, off my parents' property, my dad won't go. Just plain and simple, he won't do it. So, anyway, that's what I'm working on now. Before I start showing you painting those, here's the big surprise announcement. Da, 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 da. Belt! Baby, grandbaby number six Yay! is on the way. Uh, no, it is not Jaden. <laughs> Shanae is uh, pregnant, and that's basically all we know right now. We don't have a due date. We do know she's further along than I we're pretty sure she's in the early stages of her second trimester uh, <clears throat> but we don't have a due date or anything yet we won't find any of that out until April 22nd when she has a physical appointment with a doctor her um, she had a computer online appointment with them a few days ago and they just went ahead and scheduled her first ultrasound and hands-on visit for the 21st. So we'll find out more details then. But yeah, and uh, you know we'll keep you posted on that. We're gonna have two grandbabies back to back. Back to back to back. What's really cool is grandbaby six. Grandbaby six is coming. Yes. <laughs> like I grew up wanting a bunch of grandbabies. I'm getting what I wanted. Can I argue with this? I don't think so. Oh, I always wanted. I don't think so. I am saying that I'm really hoping this one is a girl, though, because Beckett makes boy number four. Yes. And then Emily's our fifth grandbaby. If we're just not stacking them in order, but just gender to gender. We've Wait. got four boys with Beckett, right? Beckett makes the fourth boy. Emily's the only girl we've only got. Girl. So yes. we need a, we need another girl in here. Yeah. We need to bring up some of that estrogen. So. <laughs> em Emily Bobimley is the only girl that we have out of so far. So out of far all six, uh, that we know. That we know of. Because this know. one could be a girl. This one could be a girl. So cross your fingers. So anyway. And I'll be honest. I I'm kind of hoping it's a girl too. Yeah. Yeah. Because Although, it's unbalanced. So <laughs> it is kind of unbalanced. Although we've discussed names with Shanae. Her and her husband have already discussed names and stuff and for a girl they want amethyst rose yep. which is, is cool I, I don't know if i would be able to say hey amethyst come here i don't know it's pretty when you say it until you apply it like when we chose our kids' names one of the one of the kid name tests that i did the was criteria well, i went out to my parents back door and stood at the back door and went michael brenner ross bentley it works Jaden David Lee Bentley. That one works. Amethyst Rose Harrison. Or Hamilton. I think it's Hamilton. It'd be Hamilton. Yeah. Sorry. She changed names. Well, anyway. no, because it was just Harris, not Harrison. Whatever. But yeah, Hamilton. Hamilton. So, Amethy Amethyst, I can't even say it. Amethyst Rose Harris Hamilton. Damn it. See, you can't say it. It doesn't work. Yeah. It no. doesn't work. I'm either going to call boy, her Rose or she's going to have a nickname. She'll have a nickname. Yeah, they all do. <laughs> yeah, they all end up with nicknames anyway. <laughs> Most of the time, I call all of them Boo. Hey, Boo, what you doing? Don't I? I call, yeah. The kids and the grandkids are all Boo or They're Kid. All boo, yeah. Or Kid. Um, but if it's a boy, they're saying William Richard Hamilton. I would like to interject William Bentley Hamilton. Um, I just think it would be cool. I love when you use last names of one of the grandparents. Um, for a middle name. I like that. Yeah. But it's their baby. It's their choice. And we'll live with whatever they decide. And just be happy that it's healthy. And that's really the main goal, right? So anyway, super long intro. Super sorry about that. But wanted to get all that in there. So let's get to painting. Um, I'm trying 
trying to decide if I'm going to change shirts or not. I'm definitely going to change shirts. Even though this one has a stain on it right now. I got a stain stick. I don't even know if you guys can see it. I can barely see it. It's above his ear. Right there. Um, I'm going to change shirts and get my paint supplies. And I can't. No, I'm just going to paint right here. I couldn't decide if I was going to move over there or not. But that chair just hurts so bad. I need to get... A, a regular like office chair to sit in over there because I Okay guys, so I decided I don't want them to stay, I, well I knew all along I didn't want them to stay just brown. So I started painting vines. This is a practice side, because I, so I did it on the back side. But I just told Hubby, every now and then, I kind of amaze myself. Even close up, that looks freaking awesome. So I'm going to do it pretty much all over each of the blocks. And I'll let you guys see how that goes for a few minutes.
Okay guys, so part of the color theming, uh, like the decor stuff that I've already purchased, because I did purchase stuff off of Amazon, has a gold like border and gold accents. So I am using, oh I guess you can't see it because the lighting sucks. I'm using this metallic gold from Folk Art that I got at Walmart. I don't know, I think I probably paid 80 cents for it or something like that. But I'm just kind of doing some outlines on some of the leaves and on some of the vines. Just not the whole thing, just a touch here and there. So I wanna make sure I keep the, the same color scheme throughout all the decor, so. That's what I'm working on.